Hi everyone, we are back with another Trust in Estate quick tip. So currently the federal estate tax exemption is $13.61 million per person. So that's $27.22 million for a married couple. It's never been this high before. The law is scheduled to sunset at the end of 2025 unless Congress does something about it. So many other things going on right now. Um, we don't really expect anything to happen this year or next year, most likely. So we're pretty safe to say that we have this exemption through the end of 2025. So lots of people are running to their trust and estate lawyers to do some estate tax planning and utilize these gigantic exemptions before they're lost. If you lock something in and use them, the IRS will not take it back. So you can go ahead and do some planning with, you know, about $27 million right now and ensure that that will not ever be subject to estate tax. However, there are other taxes to take into consideration, such as income taxes, like capital gains tax. A lot of people have low basis assets that when you engage in estate tax planning, you are locking in that low basis and you will be paying capital gains tax at some point. If you hold on to those assets until you die, you get a step up in basis equal to fair market value at the time of your death. And those capital gains are wiped out, gone, poof. So if you have an estate that's maybe $25 million, maybe even $30 million if you're a married couple or maybe you know somewhere 12 to $14 million in an individual, you should probably hold off and wait and see what happens. Give it some time. You know you have this year and you know you have next year. If you have low basis assets, why would you want to lock in that low basis and guarantee that somebody's going to pay capital gains tax? Now, you may say, oh, the estate tax is huge. Yeah, it's pretty high right now. It's at a 40% rate, but capital gains tax can go up to a 24% rate. So there is a, a bit of a differential there, but you know, it's not, you know, 40% or zero. Um, and you're, you're guaranteeing to lock in the low basis and guaranteed to pay capital gains tax in the future. Whereas right now, if you just wait and see, take that wait and see approach, see what happens you have until the end of 2025 to make some moves. Now, of course, it depends on your specific circumstances and, and what your assets are and the value, lots of things to consider. So you must sit down with your attorney and talk this through. But the wait and see approach is absolutely a viable option if you have low basis assets. Keep in mind that when you do estate tax planning, you're locking something in permanently. Um, so it requires thought and, and planning. Um, and uh, take some time, speak with your attorney, review your assets, and don't just jump on wanting to do this tax planning because of this big exemption. Take a minute to, to think things through so that you are looking at your entire tax picture holistically and you don't make one good decision for a bad decision.